So, uh, Marcus, how's the preparation been uh, for, for uh, getting ready here for the 49ers? It's been great. It's been great. You know, we understand we got a big challenge in front of us. It's a really good defense. Um, great players, again, kind of all over the board. Um, you know, for us, again, being on our P's and Q's, making sure that we're executing, taking care of the football, um, and understanding that this is a great opportunity for us to go against a really good defense. Um, the linebackers, uh, uh, Warner and Greenlaw, they, uh, you know, jump off the stat sheet. Then we got to see them uh, a couple weeks back against the Rams uh, in a TV game. But, um, you know, what's the core part of their unit that, you know, you all will be, uh, you know, matching up with? Yeah, you said it. I mean, um, whether it's Fred, you know, whether it's, um, those guys up front, Eric, Nick, uh, even on the back end with Ward, and um, you know some of those guys. Obviously, we'll see if they end up playing, but um, you know they're fast. They all play fast. They all running around. They're all attacking the football. Um, you know it's a very athletic defense, uh, penetrating front that um, really gets after the quarterback. So um, for us, it's limiting limiting the negative plays, um, keeping the ball going forward because they really feast off of uh, bad plays on our part. And getting Kyle back today, what was that like at practice? Great, great. Um, anytime you get a playmaker of his ability back um, is very, very important for us as an offense. Marcus, it seems like every week there's some sort of ball handling issue at some point. How, how do you fix that? Do you, do you have any idea of what has been going on? Uh, well, again, we work on it every single day. Uh, we start, start practice uh, with a quarterback center exchange. Um, Every single day, we're working run tracks with our backs. So uh, we're constantly working at it. And um, you know, we obviously have to be cleaner on, on the operation side of it. Um, you know, with that being said, though, it's, it's important for us to take care of the football. Is it, have you ever experienced anything quite like what, what it's been for you, where it seems like there's one every week at this point? Has this ever happened to you before? Uh, not necessarily. But it, you know what? At the end of the day, it's, it's a group effort, right? Like, um, you know, it's on me. It's on. It, uh, it's on the guys up front, it's on the receivers, it's on the backs, it's, it's really on all of us. So um, continue to communicate, you know, if things don't feel right, if it doesn't, um, you know, look right, just making sure everyone's kind of understanding why those things are happening and then going and correcting it on the field. You, you slid a couple of times uh, this past week. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something you've been, you know, I mean, when I asked you about it, I think it was after week one or week two, you said, you know, that's... That, that, that it seemed like that was a little bit of like a, that's just not something I've done. Has that changed for you? Is that no? I mean, I've I've slid my throughout my career. Um, again, it, part of it's probably just getting back out there and playing again. Um, you know, kind of getting a feel for where that range is to slide. Um, you know, I always felt like sometimes you expose yourself sliding, uh, especially at the quarterback position. Um, so just having to trying to find that happy medium so that. You're not truly exposing yourself to a bad hit, uh, but you're also not like, you know, getting getting hit hit. You know, so um, lack for a better of trying to figure out how to say that and explain that. But um, yeah, just trying to find a happy medium for that. The way you and Arthur communicate throughout the week as you get ready and put and install the game plan is it any different this time around than last time? Just because you've both got more experience and know each other better, or is it the same? No, I definitely think it's it's different, um, and I think it's in a better sense. Like he, it's on me. I really feel like I never communicated when I was in Tennessee, like things that I like, things that I'm seeing, you know, maybe what where we can improve on. Um, you know, I always felt like I was just trying to please the coaches, and I just tried to do whatever they they wanted me to do. Um, you know, Art has been very receptive. Um, you know, I'm just communicating what I'm seeing. It's it's constant kind of throughout the week. Uh, things that we like, things that maybe I'm not seeing. Um, as clearly as maybe he, he wants it to be. So it's just making sure that at the end of the day, we're, we're putting our guys in the best situations out there. And, um, you know, we got a good sense of what we can do to execute as an offense. Do you think you understand what he values more than you did? And the reason I say that is he said earlier this week, he says, I'm not as worried about the completion percentage, which I know is not as high as you would want it. I'm more worried about X, Y, and Z. Do you think you under understand him better from that perspective? Yeah, and I, I kind of understand kind of where we are as an offense. Um, you know, we're throwing the ball down the field, taking shots and play actions. Um, you know, the, those things are not the highest percentage, right? right? You know, you're, you're taking low percentage shots. Um, but you have to be able to do that, especially with the way we run the football, um, because it creates just a little bit of uncertainty on the defense of what you're trying to do and what you're um, you know, going to go out, go out there and execute. So, um, you know, I, I'm not worried about statistics. I've never been. Um, that's never been a part of who I am. 
Um, what's most important to me is just going out there and playing efficient and um, winning football games. Going back to what Josh asked first, when you're talking about you know this being for maybe the first time in your career, are you feeling like you can speak up to your coach? How does that change your dynamic as, as a player? I mean, you've been doing this a while. How does that, having that voice and feeling like you have a voice change your perspective? Uh, I think when it comes down to it, it's just um, being able to, to be confident in what I'm what I'm trying to articulate to the coaches. I think sometimes, like, especially when I was younger in my career, like you were like, I'm not sure if that's really the coverage I'm seeing or like what my progression is. Um, but because I feel like I've been in the league now for quite some time, I've seen a lot of different things. I've experienced a lot of different things. So I kind of lean on those experiences to be able to communicate uh, what I'm seeing and what maybe we can improve. And um, you know, it does take a little bit of going through a journey to be able to, to have the confidence to be able to speak up that way. Um, but I think all in all, it's going to help our offense out and um, really help the relationship out with me and our. When did you feel like you could do that? Like when did that really, in your gut, say, okay, I, I can actually do this? Now. Well, actually, I, I really, it was being a backup and seeing how Derek went about his business. Um, you know, I thought just as a guy watching him, he was always very like, hey, I'm not seeing this great or I'm not a big fan of this play. You know, let's find a different way to, to attack the defense because there's a million football plays. Um, so uh, being able to just to see him do that and have success um, and play a really high level for a quarterback, um, you know, really kind of instilled in me, like, you know, you got to have confidence in what you're seeing and be able to, to communicate to them because at the end of the day, you're the one that's holding the rock and having to make plays. Go back to a different one of Josh's questions, actually. You know, he, you said you're not concerned about stats, and Arthur said he's not worried about completion percentage, et cetera. So how do you view, you know, your season so far, and where does it need to go from here? What are the steps you're looking to take to take this offense to the next level? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's been okay, right? Like, we're two and three. Um, you know, I, I, I think for us as a team, for us as an offense to improve, um, we got to be better on third down. we got to be better in the red zone. Um, you know, it's kind of a constant staple week in and week out, but um, until we improve those things, until we're out there staying on the field, scoring points, you know, those are going to be things that are harped on every week. So, um, you know, I, I really don't sit back and reflect, especially six weeks in, right. you know, I, I tend to just kind of let things play out. Um, I try to be what I can be to this team and um, just go out there and make plays when we can. To that end, you talked about third downs, but something that you talked about after the game was uh, this past Sunday was third and long situations and putting yourself, yourself in, in too many of those situations as an offense. What are kind of the conversations like going into this Sunday, kind of reflecting on that and, and wanting to be better on first and second down? Yeah, you said it. it. It really comes down to being efficient on first and second down. And, um, you know, when you look at the Niners on defense, they really feast on negative plays. Um, so they can kind of rev up and get those, those pass rushers going on third and long. So um, understanding that, you know what, taking a check down here, um, you know, a two, three yard run, you know, those are efficient. It's keeping the ball moving forward. We can't have a negative plays. We can't have drop snaps. We can't have um, sacks. You know, those things are really der derail your entire, your entire drive. So um, being able to understand that if we can be efficient on first and second down, we'll get in third and manageables. We can keep ourselves on the field by converting those. Have you talked with Tua much in the last week, week and a half? Uh, here and there, you know, just to check on him. and. Um, the conversation that I had with him, he seems like he's doing okay. When you saw that, I don't know if anyone asked you about that last week, but when you saw that happen, I mean, what, you're a quarterback, you know, you've known him for a long time. Like, what goes through your head when you see that? First and foremost is his health and safety, right? Um, you worry about the person, not necessarily the football player. And, um, you know, we do play a violent game. It is a contact sport. So for me personally, just worrying about him as a person, making sure that he's okay. Um, once, once he, you know, we had the conversation that he's doing well, he's, you know, he's doing good. Then you're like, okay, you know, you, you want him to get back out there and play again. Um, but first and foremost, definitely his health and safety.